I'm I'm set. So <laughs> seven like o'clock. Welcome. No, even before that. Oh, so I I'd like to. Seven, I gotta leave. I'd like to welcome yes. everybody to the uh, regular <laughs> meeting of the Nelson um, Police Board for March the sixth, twenty twenty four. I would like to acknowledge that we land the land on which we gather to traditional territory and it's Naha, the selects and the six people, and it's home to the Metis and many diverse Aboriginal persons. We honor their connection to the land and rivers and respect the importance of the environment for our strength as a community. And number two is the consent agenda. The recommendation is the Nelson Police Board accept the consent agenda as presented. Is there a mover? Devin, oh thank God. you. It's seconded by Jane. Is there anybody that wanted to pull anything out or is everybody good with what they've read and reviewed? Okay, seeing nothing to be removed. All those in favor of the consent agenda? And that carries. Excellent. Yeah, item number three, public participation. No pet rocks? No pet rocks. <laughs> Item number four, business arising from previous meetings. We have none. Directors reports. Directors, if you have anything they'd like to report. Um, I, I can just say that I got, I was in touch with, somebody contacted me about interviews for two possible directors. So that's happening next week. So there are two people being interviewed. Excellent. That's great. Oh, that's great. Provincially, right? Yeah, those are the provincial ones. We're yeah. still uh, not, not for the city. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing uh, two more. On just on that note, we're doing two more interviews um, at the our uh, meeting, I think, this month. So we do cool. two more, and then we'll have done four, and that was like our initial call. And so we'll see if it's someone how to add four that we feel, or or else we'll do another call. And then once you make the recommendation, they still have to go through the same provincial process? Oh, crap. Yes, they do. Uh, so that's not going to happen. Yeah. So even if, say, if we had somebody and we made that decision next week when we meet or two weeks, probably I would think maybe like September. <laughs> At least six weeks. Yeah, considering that yeah. summer will soon be here and then other thing kind of get, does that slow crawl. Oh, yeah, because it has to be approved by the legislature, right? Or cabinet or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. cabinet yeah. still has to approve it. Well, so. it election year, too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully, we start hopefully, hopefully we get again. these two yeah. done. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's just it's going to be messy. And there are only two? Only two interviews. Yeah. And I don't know anything about them. Yeah. Like, I haven't gotten there. <clears throat> well, if it's if it's the one person that I spoke to, they're really strong candidates. So okay. if you've got two strong candidates, you That's don't. Does, it's fine. You don't need. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just we're looking for three right now provincially, one to replace Sue, and then the two more that we asked the province for. Mm -hmm. Is that right? No, one more that we asked the province one for more. because Eric. Is Eric is here. Yeah. Oh, all yeah. right. And so well, and we can have a simple one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, um, so I don't have a chair's report, and unless somebody has a question that they want to, oh, I do have a chair's report, I shouldn't say that. I can say that on Sunday, March the 3rd, I was standing at the lake shore, and I got to witness the putting down of both the chief and the deputy chief <laughs> for Special Olympics. Mm -hmm. okay. It was a momentous occasion. <laughs> <laughs> the chief had his daughters join him. They were met much better attired for the event in their bathing suits instead of their full uniform. <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they were much faster at getting in and getting out too. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> and I think they got warmer a lot faster too because they didn't we're have wet, a... wet, 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 <laughs> um, well, they didn't have wet shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was quite the uh, choice as if it's not hard enough to get in that water. I was impressed when I saw all the photos. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And we had a couple of other officers and I'm sorry the names um, are lost to me. Sebastian was, was there, wasn't he? Yes, yeah, so and one was the there. young woman. He was there working, though. 
Uh, yeah, Lauren, 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 Lauren Jason Horvath. Jason Horvath. Yeah. I surprised Dan. Oh, Dan Lisa. Van Hoes usually comes. He was on holidays this year, but he he does that every morning though. So, yeah. 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 So doesn't those people he's a, count? He's a cold, yeah. cold plunge guy. <laughs> Not in his MBD. Uniform. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so the only thing I heard was some grumblings about that next year the um, inspector. Uh, wasn't allowed a day off or a travel day. I couldn't quite make it out, but, but there was something about next year's um, Special Olympics. Yeah, there was also yeah. a motion put on, uh, on the yeah, board. Yeah, there was a board member. Oh, yeah. I do yeah. recall oh, that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm out of town. Yeah. <laughs> what day is that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yes. Whatever date that is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was the Parkside Hotel Pool. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> So anyways, yes, so that is my report. So it was wonderful to see those that um, came out. The sun did break out for a little moment there, considering the morning looked pretty miserable. So it was nice. And I know that um, all of the Special Olympic athletes really enjoy uh, seeing all of the first responders out and supporting um, their projects. So. Um, and anybody that wants to, you can donate at any time to that um, organization. And we, we've got a very active um, group here. So, yeah. Yeah. Just another quick note on that, which I don't think we put in anywhere. I forgot about it, but so I forget the date now, too. But a couple of weeks ago, MPD played the Special Olympic Athletes uh, floor hockey. At uh, St. Joseph's School. Oh, gosh. Mm -hmm. I wish I had known about that. I've gone to those in the past. Yeah. Yeah. I'm mean, waiting for the pictures. Like we took a big group picture at the end, but I haven't gotten any yet. I think there was a picture was a posted picture. somewhere. I remember no, seeing it. Yeah, I think it was a Oh, okay. Yeah. See, I just don't check regularly. If we can think about those things, just a flag and just send out like a, just a, if you're interested. Because I I love those things to go and cheer. Mm -hmm. It's just it's so great. So anyways, thank you for that. So on to item number seven. Um, the CAP G conference draft budget. Oh my, of course, my computer turns off. Shiloh, is there anything that you want to? Jane has my package, so I don't have oh, fair her numbers. That's okay. Yep. Pass it back down. So. I think if I recall, there's probably enough funding for two militants. Yeah, because the costs were so extraordinary last year. Halifax. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So, yeah, not me. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not interested in going to Halifax either. So, we'll see. Probably, Probably two people. people. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so, did you say that you? Yeah, I, I would go. You're on a good yeah, go. There's and I think, Devin, are you are a pointy to that. We were never really clear. Well, I, no, I, we I, did. Because so, we tried to go, go through this, and I think we're going through it yeah, as so, part of this item seven. I reached out to Shiloh about it because I was like, I'm not, you know, seeing anything. And then Shiloh reached out to Cat G, and like, really, they just have like an executive that has like you can't attend the executive meetings you can't like yeah. mm. so i'm not in any way like i think we you're I, not like sue is to that no no, no it's not like sue to the bcap yeah, yeah. It's so thing. i actually want to do something with my family this summer with my time off instead of going to the east coast anyway like yeah. that was that was you know maybe next yeah. year i'd like to go to that conference again but we went last year the two of us this year yeah. i want to do family stuff with my time off. So, okay, so we've got Eric yeah, and great. Jane. You're yeah. up. Yeah. That's a long way to stop. It's good yeah. that Eric can go. Oh, right, well, he's he's saying, I want to break from my family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got one last year. You have year. to ask for permission. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. You get to travel with this police force. Maybe we'll yeah. have another executive. Yeah. Or another <laughs> right yeah, yeah, we never know. Okay, so it sounds like we've got one of everybody that's sitting around the table. Early and then depending on what happens, maybe somebody else will be joining. That's joining. So, can, can we, we have do, uh, two provisional registrations and then cancel one if we don't use the second one? 
No, no way. No, but okay. I will book hotels. Okay. But I've already done that part, so. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I can't. Okay. I get a refund. Yeah, and how many people are going to BCAPC? Everybody? I think so. Okay. Perfect. We found out the refund thing the same as with the CA. CACP, sorry, CACP last summer when we couldn't get out because of the forest fires, we mm. lost all our registration. Oh, was that the one when we were trying to get home? Yeah, you guys were circling over the airport. Yeah, we were yeah, sitting yeah. in the airport. Yeah, yeah. No. We got, you know, we looked down, can't see nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I know, we were above the smoke. We were so close. That's really, an, you know, it's, it's just always so unfortunate because, yeah. I mean, yes, you can buy like insurance to try to cover that, but I mean, that gets cost prohibitive as. Well, I'm going to conference, I'm going to Kofi conference, and it's like I could get a cheaper room if I paid the whole the whole thing, which is fine. Like my intention is to go, but if the plane doesn't leave, then I've got five hundred dollars a night yeah. for the park in Vancouver. Like uh I can't suddenly say fifteen hundred dollars yeah. is to the wind because the plane doesn't get there. Yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. crazy some of these. Yeah, I have to say I became a convert to the bus. Like, I mean, I've only ever really traveled by the bus until the last 10 years or whatever. But really, like, we left the hotel the first morning at quarter to seven. By the time we got back to the hotel after all the... It was like 3.30 or something. Yeah. Like, it was super late in the day. The next day, we leave the hotel, I don't know, 25 minutes earlier than we left the day before, and we are home at 10 after 5. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. with no... Lots of stops, like yeah, it was great. Just moving. Yeah, direction. totally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna get home. Maybe <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, well that's excellent. So everybody's good on that. Um then item seven B, Nelson Police Board Manual Review. Mm. Yeah. Ooh, look at what? May 16th, 2017. Mm -hmm. I actually looked at 30 out of the 53 pages today. Very nice. I was bored. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll go through the rest of it. And then um, I'd really love for somebody else to just read through and look at my, mostly it's just questions like, is this still relevant? Do we actually do this? You know, that kind of thing. Um, I don't think it needs a lot of, uh, it's, it's pretty formal language. Uh, I don't think it needs a lot of revision. Um, there are whole sections of the Police Act that are included. So somebody else is willing to look at it after I look through it. Then right. we might have a handful of things to bring to the board to say, do we want to do it this way or that way? And then we approve it and we're done. I'd yep. be happy to work with you on that. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I, I've been wanting to go over the board uh, manual anyway. Um, I just haven't had time since the... Okay, the, and it's the, the governance. Came out, I was like, I had to. The governance know. committee that's responsible yeah. for that kind of so, stuff. So, yeah, no, I'd be happy to. So, what I'll do is after I finish the last 20 or so pages, mm -hmm. I'll send you my version with my initials on it. Sure. And then you can just go through and add anything you want. And Perfect. Yeah, so then I won't even read my copy. I'll just wait till you're done and then I'll read your copy and annotate as I go. Perfect. Okay. Well, that sounds like a plan. There we go. Okay. So, that is Sue and Devon. Excellent. And anybody else have any questions about that? Everybody's good? So then we have uh, police committee terms of reference and awards and committees. One of the committees, I think. Are we doing something with these? So yeah, I'm just wondering because did we not just review them and but we, we have not met. We haven't met. We haven't. We should be reviewing them every year. We haven't since the last 2017. Yeah. <laughs> no, last year. No, I didn't. Like yeah. And then um, and then you should go to your committee list to see who. Some yeah. Mm -hmm. Still doing the right thing, and then Eric probably needs. An assignment, assignment, job, <laughs> something. And then I have that late edition as well from. Yes, and then we have the 
Um, so what's here in front of me is that uh, in preparation for the upcoming BCABC conference and AGM, it'd be very much appreciated if you could consult with your board as to who will be appointed or continue on as your board's authorized representative and alternate representative of the BCABC executive board and if all possible provide that name by March 31st. So um, this of course would be the appropriate time to decide that now. Lena, you are. I, I've been her alternate. Yeah, so I imagine at this point, I think we just have to probably, you're going to stay hopefully on the board, but we probably should move the committee. Um, committee? Well, the, the appointments. So oh, the that appointment. Lena would become the primary, the primary oh, and then we would look at an alternate. Mm -hmm. In case they, for some reason, say, oh, look, we invented your injury too, we've got the full amount. So, like you just never know what they're gonna do, do we? Yeah. So I guess the only question then is, since the uh, AGM is coming up so quickly, do you want Lena then to take over uh, attending that? It'll be at the meeting, the AGM, won't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, and I, and I'll be at the meeting, mm -hmm. unless I'm told you're off the board, in which case I won't go. Yeah. You won't go to the meeting. I won't go to anything. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I've attended that meeting even though I wasn't on my board. On the board. Well, the EGM was open to everybody, and then there yeah. was an executive meeting afterwards. Exactly. Right? Yeah, we can all yeah. be there. But you're talking about the executive meeting afterwards. I'm talking about the executive yeah. meeting, yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm able and willing and great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And then, so should we then also then be looking at the alternate? Tell them before. I don't think they need to know the alternate before, yeah. right? Like it's well, that they, that's what they've asked for here. That's all, I'm, that's all I'm. That's all I'm. I get authorized so representative and alternate representative. Go forward, so assuming I won't be here. Make okay. the decisions, assuming I'm not here. That's what you're. Suggesting. Well, I'm just. Yeah, because they might they might reappoint you and then say in November we've now filled so now thank you but yeah. Yeah. now you're gone I, yeah. like like. I don't know what they're going to do. Like yeah, I, that's fine I'd be happy me. to say stay status quo, but I think we need to be prepared for the fact that nothing seems to be status quo sometimes from the government. So it's up to the board. We can either leave Sue there and hope that we find out that she is going to get um, able to stay, or we look at um, Lena, you taking it, and then we need that um, alternate to the board so pick up folks because I said I already said I'm <laughs> <doing that. laughs> I, like I think that makes sense yeah, as so a too. as a plan to have Lena in as the representative and then but then that brings the question up at all just the alternate yeah yeah um yeah I, <laughs> I mean, I'm just thinking of it long in a year and a half. Like, it, you need to have new people. So, yeah. Eric has an. Let's do that then, yeah. Yeah. Then okay. he can be the I'm, feeling, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed yeah. right now with everything. Great. So, yeah. um, oh, do we need a motion? Do you want a motion? Ten minutes? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Please. Okay. So moved. <laughs> Seconded. Moved, seconded. <laughs> and uh, so uh, Lena will be the primary, and the alternate will be Eric, and you'll be able to send that off. And, and Eric and Lena, if you want to get together for coffee sometime between now and the 10th of April, I can just go over the kinds of things that we've been doing as, as part of our business on the executive. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's like right away the 10th of April. Yeah, like, you guys are going pretty quick here. Yeah. Like you're going because we're not having a meeting next month, right? That's the no, no. The, the meeting, meeting is month. actually uh, on my schedule is April, April. the third. It's oh, that yeah, yeah. Wednesday oh, yeah. after Easter. Yeah, yeah. Got moved up the yeah. one week because everybody, we're all going to be gone. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, so now I'm back to these committees and. Terms of reference. So, 
the first one is the combinations and awards committee and who is on that? Do we have the, do you have the committee list handy? Tab list. I don't know. I don't have in here. Yeah, no, this is just, I've got all the right. terms of reference for the um, committees, but not the who participated on them. Was. Okay. Um. Okay. So for the awards committee, it is Devin. Would, and Lindsay, so we need one more. And then it's Chief Fisher, Deputy, and then um, an MPA representative and myself. So we need one more director. Okay. And then let's just, can we, can we yeah. ask them all out? Because I'm just writing them down now. Okay. So I got Devin in the opening, and then we've got Finance. Finance is Director Adam, Byers, and Devin. Recruitment and Selection, Lindsay, Lena. Governance. Oh, recruitment is strictly for um, chief. I think. Yeah, it's not on the chief. list. It's not on the list here. So please, yeah. it's the okay. HR one. Oh yeah. Um, <clears throat> governance is Lena and Devin. Human resources is Jane and Sue. Short of justice, which is Lena. Foundation is Lena. Both of which don't exist. Mm -hmm. um, EDI <laughs> is <laughs> Lena and Devin. I'm pretty busy, Lena. I know, apparently. <laughs> well, but there's Thank two other ones, just like, uh, just in name only. Like a fraud. <laughs> you have a fraud. <laughs> yeah. So, um, that was one of the last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's <laughs> your <laughs> So is everybody happy with this? And then, and then Eric, is there anything there that um, jumps out at you that you would like to? Finance. Finance, finance. that's what I thought you'd like to be on finance. Sense. At least one. <laughs> yeah, why does it take here? my place then? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Eric's on finance, perfect. <clears throat> and so um, awards, perhaps we can leave that open and for a new person, we have anything coming up? I'm just looking, Chief, Deputy Chief, Peace Lady Associates Representative, NCO exempt, directors. And do we have annual awards that we're giving out? Is it a new oh, okay. I think we have the option to have annual awards. Okay. So maybe that'll be okay that if we if you ended up to, to do an award that we can have just one mm -hmm. i'm yeah. sure that if you needed to have somebody i could be an ad hoc or whatever yeah as the chair okay. yeah i think we might be safe there just mm -hmm. to just go Devin, if you want to just stay then on yeah it's fine on um it's been a huge commitment thus far <laughs> and so now finance we're going to have eric and jane and Devin. And governance, Lena and Devin, you're still good with I like governance. Yeah. governance. We have to meet and do something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Well, we'll start with the uh, with manual. With the manual. That's, 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 we can say we're done. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, HR, Jane and Sue, you did a good job last year. You wanted to continue on. So you want to stay doing, you guys stay doing that. And then yeah. mm -hmm. we'll see, and at least then there's consistency, Jane, with. If you yep. still stay there and there has sure. to be a change of another person there. Um, I didn't understand what recruitment was. That, that's when we need to go looking for new chief. That's, oh, a, that, the chief. that's a, at the call of the and board. It's ad hoc. And I right. think it also has to be a, one of them has to be municipal um, director. Right. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For which one? For, for recruitment. Recruitment. One. recruitment. It wasn't here on the list, but she read <laughs> out the recruitment and I was just. Okay. 
Okay, so we're just going to leave that open. We're not recruiting. We have no intention of recruiting. Is that message being delivered? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then um, EDI, Lena and Devin. And I know that that group is starting to take more shape. Yeah, I haven't been. I uh, will be at the next meeting next week. And then, and then I, I, I heard um, restorative justice Did you and forget? what's that? Foundation. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she didn't know. She didn't know I want to ask Dep Deputy restorative justice. Is there ever going to be a need for a committee? Mm -hmm. Like, have you had that discussion? I did have that discussion. Yeah. At this point, there isn't going to be a need. So we're gonna we'll re revisit it again maybe later this year. Yeah, because to me that that uh, I think that that yeah, should I, be like there should be a committee. Like I find that it, you know as we move forward with all our cha changes and stuff, restorative justice is going to be front and center. And if you have a, a, a committee like like not even it, we used to have like a steering committee. I think it's important. Mm -hmm. That's my my view. That sure. It's a it's a loss if you just going to be, you know, the coordinator and you, like if you want to, us to support your work, it will be well received in the community if you had a larger group that's like a, you know, just a sounding board. We're not going to tell you what to do. But yeah. I, I think, we'll think uh, about it more. definitely we'll think about it. I'll, I'll do an environmental scan and see what other mm -hmm. restorative justice programs are doing. And then, you know, we can kind of go from there. Yeah. Should it just be recharacterized as just the liaison, just the board liaison, not a committee of any kind? Or not an advisory committee or anything. That's like a good. That? That's a good yeah. uh, proposition as well. So I think uh, my understanding before it was more of like a, an actual committee where they would meet on a regular basis. Yeah, we met, but you know that wasn't the deputy position. So the that the person who was coordinating the program wanted that because she was just left alone. She was actually a private contractor. Not accountable to anybody, really. Well, as at least now I feel better that this person is an employee and has to supervise us. So, yes, the you know, it's our changed over change. time, yeah. 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 But I'm just saying, like, if you want to look, think of it in a positive light, it's it's not always it's it's okay sometimes to have some kind of connection with the community, For sure. so that when you're trying to sell the idea, there'll be more support. Yeah. You know? Let me let me do an environmental scan and get and come back and report in regards to where we're at, where where our you know comparables are and what they're up to, because there's just a, a variety. There's community based and there's police based and there's only a small segment that's police based. Yeah. So you know, just understand how they're doing it. Okay. Kind of go from there. So that's on hold, and we'll see. And then maybe it's just like like it is, just maybe like you're saying a title a title change or a. Because sometimes it's just nice to have somebody that that's like from the board that can periodically do the report instead of the report always coming from the chief or the deputy chief, right? It's always I think it gives more yeah. credibility to the yeah. program. And then um, where I hate to go down this, where are we? Road, but we'll, we'll give this conversation maybe six minutes. Where are we on the foundation? Foundation, foundation is, is so, on hold. Use this for in camera. No, no, it's um, so Tanny stepped down and um, all the funding is through the Osprey. Okay. So if we have any donations, it just goes so, so, okay. yeah, whether that's in perpetuity or um, to the uh, flow through. And they continue to raise funds for the LVR uh, bursary. Right now. So is, is the on um, hold to be revisited at a certain point in time that was agreed upon, or is just it's just a hold? There was no okay. take for people to volunteer to be directors on it. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. So does that mean there's no like it's not as inactive? You live that one understanding? Yeah. Yes. I would imagine that it's not to say that there couldn't be a another beer and burger night during the course mm -hmm. of the year, but it I mean, goes to the Osprey. It goes, but it goes right yeah, it all goes to the yeah. Osprey. Yeah. So I mean, it's just, but, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So, great. Um, the money's there. We know the money's well managed, so I don't have any concerns there. I mean, if anybody in the community that's made a donation mm -hmm. has any, like, I mean, that's like the Osprey. That's exactly where the money should be. It's well managed. It it might be. Better to have like a fundraising committee that just organizes different events. I mean, money all goes through the Osprey. 
And well, so, because, right? Because yeah, the Shell, um, the Shell gas station gave the foundation just last month. Yeah. Three thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah. I saw that in the yeah. paper, maybe. Yeah. yeah. We're still, we're still getting donations. Yeah. So that's that's fine. Yeah. So yeah. the LBR bursary is like a five hundred dollar. One thousand. One thousand dollars. Yeah. That comes out of that fund. So we've got to make sure that there's enough money in there to do that every year. So okay. Seems reasonable. Okay. Well, that's updated. So I think that covers all of that. And so. If there's no questions or concerns about those activities, um, we're at item number eight, which is adjournment of the regular meeting. And uh, the next meeting is on April the 3rd, so if I can have a motion to adjourn. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's been moved and submitted. And all those in favor, and that carries. So everyone's got their hand up for it.